The objective of this module is to describe criteria considered in the selection of patients for a rapid plan model. These criteria include similar target and organ at risk geometry, similar clinical guidelines, number of training patients, and treatment plan quality. The first step in selecting a patient for a rapid plan model is to consider the PTV and organ at risk geometry. Patients that are included in the same model should have the similar PTV and organ at risk contouring guidelines. In subsequent videos, we will be showing you how to create a prostate model. This model includes both intact prostate and prostatectomy patients as the targets are both small and centrally located. The bladder, rectum, and femurs were all contoured using the same guidelines and have a similar relative position to the PTV for all patients. In addition, patients included in the training set should be representative of all types of geometry that the model will be used for. For example, the training set should include patients that span all PTV volumes, all organ at risk volumes, and different overlap volume between the PTV and organ at risk. This diversity is important in order to create a robust model that will produce acceptable results for patients with different types of geometry. If the model is used on a patient geometry that exceeds the model geometry, the estimated DVH results will produce poor quality plans. Another thing to consider when selecting a patient is that the patient should follow similar clinical guidelines. This includes having similar clinical planning objectives for all patients included in the model. The PTV coverage criteria should be the same. For example, 100% of the prescription covers 98% of the PTV volume. The clinical objectives for organ at risk sparing should also be the same. For example, the volume of the rectum receiving 65 gray should be less than a certain percentage. In addition, patients included in the model should have the same clinical trade-offs between PTV coverage and organ at risk sparing. The priority or importance given to the PTV over the organ at risk or the organ at risk over the PTV should be the same for all patients. As long as the criteria discussed above have been met, the PTV prescriptions of training patients can vary. An example of this is that an intact prostate and prostatectomy patients can be added to the same model even though an intact prostate treatment has a greater prescription dose than a prostatectomy patient because they have the same clinical planning guidelines. When patients with different prescription doses are added to the same model, the estimated DVHs will be scaled as a percentage of the prescription dose. The minimum number of training patients for a rapid plan model is 20 patients. Our experience has shown that 40 to 50 patients is a reasonable number of patients for a prostate model. However, as the model complexity increases, the number of patients that is needed to train a model also increases. The model validation process is used to ensure that the number of training patients is sufficient. This concept will be covered in greater detail in subsequent training modules. The final criterion to consider when selecting patients for an addition to a rapid plan model is the quality of the clinical treatment plan. Each treatment plan should be clinically approved by a radiation oncologist to ensure that the dose distribution is safe for patient treatment. In addition, the clinical objectives outlined by the physician for both the PTV and organ at risk should be assessed. PTV objectives should be satisfied and high dose gradients should be present in organ at risk to indicate adequate sparing. It is important to remember that the quality of your model is directly proportional to the quality of the plans that the model is trained with. If your training plans are not high quality plans, the treatment plans created by the model will not be high quality plans.